Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Great introduction. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, be the word that you be praised, honored, and glorified. We say that not uh, uh, casually, dear Father, but we say that earnestly and sincerely because you are worthy of praise. You are worthy of sincere honor and of, and of sincere glory. And we just thank you for who you are. Uh, because of who you are, we have hope. We have uh, a purpose. We have a reason for living uh, this challenging life that we live, dear Lord. And we thank you for blessings beyond measure, truly beyond measure, dear Lord. Uh, yeah. We know that, that your love for us it was demonstrated in your son, Jesus Christ, who lived, who suffered, who took upon sin yes. upon himself. And you put that wrath upon him, your wrath, because yes. you demanded, uh, you demanded a sacrifice. Yes. And dear Lord, you gave uh, in, a, in a loving way, in a divine way, in a way that we still uh, can barely grasp. Uh, you, 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 Jesus is that, that example. And that example uh, that all mankind, yes. uh, whether we agree or not, whether we believe or not, one day all men, <laughs> all of us will, will bow uh, to that divine fact that Jesus is, is your son. Yes. And he is, is worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified according to your divine will, Father. Yes. Your Lord, thank you for taking uh, us who, there's no way we can earn your grace. There's no way we can earn your love, earn your kindness, uh, earn your, your passion and compassion. But you, because you are love and you are a God that, that uh, sees everything, uh, you have allowed us to be able to participate in, a, in a, such a forum now and discuss uh, your word. Dear Lord, we thank you in, uh, from the top of our heads to the, to the tip of our toes, we do. Yes, uh, because uh, you are worthy. You are, worthy. and and we just thank you that we can have these discussions. Yes, and then take these discussions and go out and, and be light in the world. Yes, Lord, we know that there's a lot of things that are wrong, and when we uh, make error yes. and and try to judge our brothers and sisters, uh, help us to understand yes. in the way that our Lord Jesus Christ understood yes. from the Spirit. Where all this is, where all this is headed, where all this is is going, and why things are the way they are. Yes. But Lord, uh, whether it be our government, whether it be our fellow man, uh, that, that are that are not walking in the spirit, allow us, nevertheless, to walk in the spirit, in yes. your spirit. Yes. To do what we are to do, and walk according to your will and your way. Yes. Now, Father, soften our hearts that we may hear. The rest of the word the rest of this message this morning yes and then do with it what you would have us to do we say these things in jesus precious and holy name amen amen, amen and amen amen because just make sure everybody understand what a vision is to do, how to take teach the word of god or study the word of god and see how anybody to include ourselves apply it in our everyday life so that's the key applying this word in our everyday life we're in this amen. how do we apply this word in our everyday life. Not to be a friend of the world, but to apply our life, our life, and, and, and the word of God and our life with other people uh, every day. So one of the things I have here is, and this is since Brother Jackson start, not Brother Jackson, uh, uh, Brother Hassan started off, this is the scriptures that I had starting off with. It goes in fact, it goes in line with what we're talking about, Brother Addison. So read that for me. Okay, Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Second chapter. Yes, sir. First one. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our, by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letters as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. <laughs> Let no man deceive you by any means. Come on. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Uh -huh. 
and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Yes. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshiped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Yes. And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Yes. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. It does. Only he who no letteth will let uh -huh. until he be taken out of the way. Yes. Yeah. One of the things that added, and let's, let's chew on that. Well, let me go. I think we can go to, we can close these two. This other scripture goes with it. So we can, then we can talk about it. Go ahead there. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Lying wonders, uh-huh. And with all deceivableness mm. of unrighteousness uh -huh. in them that perish, uh -uh. because they receive not the love of the truth, uh -uh. that they might be saved. Yeah. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion uh -huh. that they should believe a lie. Wow. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, wow. but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Wow. Man. You know, the bishop and I was talking for a long time <laughs> with these scriptures here. Uh, I see why. It, it, it's, almost, <laughs> it's almost better to go with this. This last part is yeah. go back to the first part, right? Yeah, um, this is a, a definite type and shadow that we're living in of this right now. I know it. it. It really is. As I was reading, I could just see see the world in this as I was reading. Hey. And and so you know it's what, what started off first that they caught me more than anybody else may think about it is in verse 10, you see that part where it says, because they they uh, they received not the love of the truth, yeah. they might be saved. I'm getting it too. I'm not so much focused right now on the, on the, on the son of perdition. I'm focusing on the people that that will you know follow they, that they perish the ones yeah. that perish <laughs> right and, and see how you see that in verse 11 said for this cause god has sent them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie you know what i mean right and i think you know one of the things I think in one I think the early part of the scripture, let me see back here. It says uh, verse five there, Elder said, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure we understand as we move forward and we apply what goes on in our society. And and, and, and don't get me wrong, I think the stuff been going on for a long time. Dr. Like even the scripture said it, right? The uh this this working of, of, of evil has been going on for for quite a while, don't you agree? Agree. Since the fall of the garden. Yeah, yeah. It's this is it's man. It's, it's the biggest problem. But verse two, but as it said, and be what, don't be what, shaken? Don't don't be shaken in mind. In mind. Or trouble by your spirit, yes, huh? or by word. Come on, nor by or word. by a letter. Come on now, Man, that that's that's the church. Come on, brother. <laughs> Come on. He said, "Don't y'all be shaking and stuff. Y'all got y'all put projected. You must keep pressing. You're pressing. Exactly. You're the pastor of Christ. You're walking in the joy of the Lord. I'm just saying, is that when people sit there and say, well, "Who you think?" Hey, look. I know God is in control. And right. I know I know that, that we got the victory. We already won. But we're gonna press through this thing. Because yes, it's gonna be some things that are gonna take in the minds of 
of a believer as well as a non-believer. Mm -hmm. And they need well, to go ahead. Well, and I'm, I'm glad you kind of mentioned verse two, because I think this is a reminder for all of us that when we have uh, all of a sudden we feel the, the in our flesh, um, it, it rising up and we get angry, we get, we get this angst, you know, we want to, we want to uh, rise up in an, in an unbiblical way, in an unspiritual way, in an unrighteous way. Uh, that, that's what's happening to us, you know. Yeah. yeah. That we're we're allowing these things to get to us. Now, you know, for example, you know, we like to talk about the other disciples and everything, and I appreciate that. But then again, our our real example is Jesus Christ, yes. and how, in spite of what he knew he had to go through, not necessarily that he was uh, when I say you know joyful, but the thing is, is he pressed forward, he pressed on, he. Um, he, he didn't let him he didn't let it sway right. him into doing something that he shouldn't do in the glory of the father and then that's what i see that we all need to do um and, and the second thing i want to mention is actually this scripture in in second uh, second thessalonians um verse two and uh, not verse two but chapter two it this is a reason to kind of be sorrowful for those who are in that situation. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, yeah it is. <laughs> you know, because uh, th that's not a good place to be. Nope. And, um, the, you, you know, it's just, uh, it, it saddens me, really. But that's why, again, you know, we need to be, we need to be in the right we have, frame of mind. Come on, come on now. Now you're talking. So, so that when, you know, we're encountering our, our brothers and sisters, Come on. You know, we don't do like what the world does Come on and there. try to try to, you know, cause them to have to curl back up and try to defend themselves. But but open them up, you know, maybe soften their hearts a little bit and, and try to get them to see the light yes. that is in us. Yes, sir. And uh, and, you know, and the glory is not for us. The glory is for God, the father. But man, this is a it's a it's a sad, sad situation um, that many people are in. Right. And, and we're not just talking about America. Come on, okay, man. we're talking about the world. Yes. America is just a microcosm as to what's happening globally. Come on. You know? Come on. The, thing, the one thing that I'm, I became a little bit more acutely aware of is the fact that it's not, it's not uh, confined to just one one race, race or color. I mean, we have people that are lost that are black, and we have in white, and and, that, that, and that's right here in the United States of America and globally. Come on. So it, it's um, it, to know that those who have rejected the truth are, for the most part, condemned, and it, and that's in part of that script to even yeah. see, yeah, to, yeah. unto the destruction that God has offered truth to them, but they have refused it. I and, and as a result of that, the one scripture says he turned them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah, destruction is imminent for them, and to to sorrow for them, I think is a natural response. Right, right. We should, we should have sorrow for them because God imparts to us his awareness of their destruction, of their imminent destruction. Difficult to do in the flesh when you see people commit the prophets, uh -huh. you know, and, and reveling in the fact that they're bringing suffering into another person's life. Right. But we can see it down the line and really realize that they are really headed for hell. You know what, I think you're, you're right in that it's not about a color but it's about the human heart yes, and sir. i mean the human heart is in all colors but then too i, I want to go back to something the brother just said and that uh and that uh bro jack about uh seeing the light that is within us but then let me just say this that they see the glorious light of the gospel they have to. not 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 the light that we want them to see based on what we've decided is god's position or the truth but that they see the glorious light of the gospel, right. period. Yeah. Not our gospel, the gospel. They and got that we also are also obviously always changed into his image that we see the glorious light of the gospel because we too are biased and have our own persuasions and believe certain things. But we have to fight against that within ourselves because just because I believe it, that don't make it true. What makes it true is it's written. And that's what I need to make sure that I'm 
always conforming myself to yeah. and not caught up in me. Right. And then, right. Yeah, and I think that's the, that's, that's the challenge we have is to make sure that we just try to make sure things line up with, with scripture. And the problem is when we try to, I think a lot of cases when we look at the politics of life and stuff, is that they so they intertwine on from, you know, one perspective has one part of the truth that they like, and then politics is another part that they don't like. So they, they, they're kind of like a, 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 like that, you know, Jimmy, you were talking about that wicker, twisted. The yeah. Truth, when you talk about in politics, they're all intertwining in and out, the good and the bad all being put on both plates when we talk about politics. Yep. You know, you said it one time before, equally corrupted. They're all the same. That's why we can't, <laughs> that's why we, that, that's why we should not and cannot politicize the gospel. Exactly. Because truth is, they're all the same. They right. may have us persuaded that this side is better than this side, or this side respects us more, or this side is more godly, this side is more ungodly. Let me tell you something, don't get caught up in yourself. They're all equally the same. We can't politicize the truth. Because a lot of people, again, let's understand, interpret scripture based on their experiences, not based on what it says. Because right. if what it says doesn't align with what I'm living, then I tend to sway and lean toward what I'm living to be truth and not what it's saying. We have to always guard against that. It's the glorious light of the gospel, not the glorious light of first Jimmy. Right. And I think that's <laughs> if I jerk myself huh? concerning if I jerk myself concerning Mr. Trump, our president, I have I would say that I came up lacking a lot because I did not pray for him as fervently as I think God would have had me to pray for him. I spent a lot of time judging his action, his personality. But there was, you know, from a discerning, from a discerning perspective. I, I I noticed there might have been some need for him to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And I think as a citizen of the kingdom and as an ambassador, ambassador of that kingdom, it was like should have been priority one for me to really start to pray for this guy's salvation. Okay, but now, <clears throat> hold on a sec. No, I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. All right, so he has a spiritual advisor in Paula White, along with a few other uh, prominent uh, ministers of the gospel. Uh, let me reiterate. Hold on. Let me hold reiterate. On. Hold on. So now he's even said that he is better than Christ, and I've 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 heard him say that there's only one better than him that is Christ. I've heard him say that he is a Christian. I've heard I watched him walk to a to a church with a Bible in hand and hold it up after abusing some people. So he does know about the word and, of God. And who are you to say he's not? That's between him and God. That's not your yeah. position. And, and Don't allow is. yourself to get the magician's trick focused okay, but, on what they want you to focus on. And you're missing what's going on on the other side. That, yeah. the, 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 oh, the, no. devil got, the devil has us when he gets I, us to focus on what he wants us to focus on. We, we got to guard it against that. That's, that's, I think that, that's the point that I was, trying, I was trying to make, is that there is a criteria that governs the kingdom of God, and then there's the world system. The men who conquered this Period. nation, are, 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 who conquered this nation or were Christians. Hitler was supposedly a Christian. I mean, there, there's a lot of things that have manifested themselves in the earth that have taken on the name of Christianity that don't line up with Jesus. And so, as the citizen of the kingdom, what view am I supposed to propagate? What, you know, only one gospel that I know of, you know what I'm saying? And, and when we step outside of that, then have we going to a realm that we really won't be able to function in? Well, I think, I think let me well, throw something at y'all first. Can I say this to, 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 to add on to what I, what I had already said? And, and I said all that because he claims to be a Christian. The Bible says that we are to judge those 
the air in the body of Christ. Whew, now, well, I'm glad you get your salvation. This, but we we do that by the fruit that he is bearing. Let me ask a question. Let me ask one question. When we make it to heaven, and I want you all to answer this question honestly, do you think you'll be surprised at some of the people that you'll see that you thought you'd never see? Answer that. I will answer that because the Bible speaks to that. And yes. Okay. So some you're going to be surprised because some of the ones yeah. that you said ain't nowhere in the world they should be there. And trust me. There's gonna be some that look at you as surprised oh, yeah. that you did. Oh yeah, and 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 that's and that's a truth. But all I'm saying is that if he does not show bear any fruit of the spirit, nothing of love, and constantly bearing fruits of death then when he calls himself a Christian and people tend to listen to him, then it is for me to say he does not bear fruit of a Christian. Now, well, I think for you to come to that conclusion about another person, but they never, they never, I think that's kind of, you, 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 you lost focus. I think if that's where you are. I mean, I don't even think that should be part of what I even think about to be honest with you because I can't really say because then I'm judging based on my own standards and what I believe in the life that I no, think I am but that's to, not that's not but my it standard could be, it could be still swayed though because because uh well well sometimes what we think we know is what we not know well is what we don't know and sometimes the actions don't necessarily dictate the motives and the truth behind the, the situation I just think that's a dangerous position to be in I try to stay away from I just try to stay away from that because I think that's dangerous. That's just me personally. I think that's a dangerous that's, position. I but that's remember. biblical, though. That's what the Bible says. The says the, the, God judges the world. God we, does. We we are to to judge those in the Bible. That's what the Bible says. The question is, I've asked a lot of times. I ask you the same question. If you see me go out and dig a hole in the backyard, did I bury some or plant something? Well, if it was you, Jimmy. No, you wouldn't know. You, you're going to judge by you, how you, you feel you, that day, what you think I was doing. Yeah, you don't know well, whether I planted something or You planted something. something, and I'll be over there to get some of it. <laughs> 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 Look, you don't, you don't want none of that. <laughs> but, um, I, think, I think, let's go back to the, the, the point of fact is, first of all, that in politics, both political parties or entities have something of truth on their plate, but they also have some compromises and deceptions and everything else that you're going to have to weigh all that and not to the best of your ability. And like you said, you should judge by the fruit. But based on that, though, the scripture said we just read, brother, as we read that again, it's important for us not to be deceived as we deal with this uh, life, right? That's the key to it, eh? Let, try this again for us so that everybody else be on the same sheet. I do recommend that if you got your Bible. You talking about starting at two? Yeah, yeah, because we want to go two? back through it. Yeah, uh, because okay. the fact is, remind us what we're supposed to remember. Deception, being deceived. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll start at, at one because it, 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 it goes. Yes, at one, so. yeah. Now we beseech Well, let me you, say brother. something before you say that, brother, because you know what? I think that's a great point, and it's about the deception, and that truly is what it's about. I'm glad the pastor brought it back to that, yeah. the deception, because yeah. it's, it, because that is so amazing, because it's deception. So you think you know. Yeah. That's why it's called deception. You think yeah. you know, right. but you don't know, because check this out. It's so many that we could observe that say uh, they're righteous, they're praying, they're taking care of folks, but what we did know, they was messing with little boys all the time behind the scenes. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? But yeah. we'd have called them righteous. And we would say they was great and they were godly. We were judging their fruit because yeah. we didn't know. Deception is amazing. And that's what makes it deception. Because if you knew, then you wouldn't be deceived. You yeah, think right. you know. You you're think right. you know. You think? Everything in you, you think you know. That's why it's called deception. 
That's why it's very dangerous because you think you know with everything that you know, see, hear, read, and, and participate in that you know the situation. Right. That's right. why it's called deception. Right. You're right. Hey, you know, Especially but, hey. when you put it in that in that aspect, I, I can only agree. Hey, no. well, but, well, when I think in terms of the fact that the, the virus will be ended by Easter, that was none that. that's not a step. That's just a flat out lie. <laughs> I know, but you know, and that, that that was that, that's not that's not even a judgment call. That's just a reality. Hey, you know, and, and, and so there were some things that, that that occurred, and I'm not talking about him specifically, but just in general that when it's observed, and I think when it talks about judging fruit, uh -huh. that it has to be done in that 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 perspective because we can't anticipate a man's final judgment. We can't. But we can observe. The, uh, the, the, but let me, let me ask you a question. What if that didn't happen? Of course, it didn't happen. And uh, but let's just say because no one can really predict the truth. Whoever says something's going to happen by a certain time, they don't know because only God knows. There but let's no. just say from a position of leadership, that was to keep the morale right, to give people optimism, to give people hope as a person in charge, to kind of motivate and try to try to not give a gloomy outcome because of the mindset of the people. What if, in fact, let me just ask a question, brother. What if, in fact, that was the motive behind all things, not to state a state a matter of fact or anything of that nature, but that was the agenda of the purpose behind it? See, then it changes the outcome somewhat. So that's why I say deception is amazing, and 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 thinking that we know sometimes is dangerous, and that's why I try not to politicize or even get involved in that. I just. My focus but is six, see, six books that I don't know enough about already. That's a hypothetical, though, Jimmy. But the reality of it is, 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 I mean, even the Bible says it's what comes out of a man that defiles him, not what goes in. And what's been coming out of him has been lie after lie and proven such. Uh, now I think we get now, to